All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about linking multiple employee credit cards to the bank feed in QuickBooks Online. And today we're specifically going to be talking about Chase credit cards. I have another video that I created on how to do the multiple employee credit cards into the bank feeds of QuickBooks Online, but there's an error message. I think it's kind of a glitch, but it's been going on for months and months now with people trying to do this workflow specifically again with, with Chase credit cards. But I did find a workaround to this. So that's what I'm gonna be showing in this video is a workaround in order to bypass that error message. And there's a few error messages that pops up. Sometimes it's worded a little different, but it's all happening because of the same reason. I don't think it should be happening, but I, we did figure out the reason why it's happening. And, and again, a workaround to that. As a, just a quick general overview, if you haven't seen my other video, the idea is, is we're gonna have a parent account with uh, for the credit card and then sub accounts underneath it. And the sub accounts are gonna be the, the new employee cards. And the reason it needs to be set up that way is because QuickBooks Online, in terms of how it's treated with that relationship with the credit card companies in the bank feed, is that each in employee card is basically needs to be set up as a separate avenue in order to pull in those transactions. And what you might find when you're watching this video is that you have credit card account set up in the bank feed and then maybe added another employee card or two and then realize that whenever their their transactions aren't actually being being pulled into that same feed it's only being pulled into the main account feed because again they're treated as separate avenues but you also don't just want to create completely separate credit card accounts in your chart of accounts and quickbooks and try to link them off separately that way because then you won't have the ability to reconcile those accounts all under the same actual credit card account if, if all that makes sense. So again, that's the idea is you want the parent account and then the sub accounts underneath, which are the employee cards so that you can link individually in separate actual feeds. So you bring in all the transactions, so you don't have to do any manual entries or anything. And you also still have the ability to do reconciliations with that parent account. However, with it being set up certain ways, and I'll show you the ways it's been, I've, I've seen this attempted to be set up within Chase, there's this weird error, error message or error messages that keep popping up that's not allowing people to link to the bank feed these new cars whenever they're setting it up. So what, what we're showing here, what, we're, what situation we're in now is that we have now, so let's say we, so we have this Chase credit card account with the ending 3344. Now let's say that this is the owner's, so this is the main credit card account. This Let's say this is the owner's credit card. It's the one that's been set up since the beginning. And it, as you can see, so it is linked up currently to the QuickBooks Online bank feed. So all those transactions have been coming in and out. And now we're going to say that we added another employee card and we're going to try to link this new employee card uh, use as a sub account in order to bring in those transactions as well, because we realize that those transactions haven't been coming in into a new bank feed but we want to set up as a parent account so we can, because the statements and balances and everything are all, you know, linked together under the same Chase account. What I'm going to show you first is the incorrect way to do it. So you can see um, what that looks like. So you could see the error message and get an idea of how to fix it. Because I'm assuming that a lot of you are probably coming from that scenario where you might already have some cards set up. And I'll, so I'll show you how to fix it from that stage. If you're starting from scratch and you're setting this up completely, um, or completely new, then just watch the entire video. And now just naturally, once you go through the entire video, you'll, you'll know and realize how to set it up from scratch from the beginning in order to how to set it up correctly in order to bypass this error message. So again, what we're going to do at this stage is we're going to attempt to create a sub account for this new employee card, try to link it, and it's going to show up the error message. So we're going to go in the chart of accounts here in the top right, hit the gear icon, and then, and then chart of accounts. So we're going to get new here in the top right, and we're going to start adding in this new card. So 7692 is the last four for this new employee card. It's going to be set up as a credit card. Detail type, of course, credit card. Don't put anything here for the opening balance, and don't worry about this as of date. You can put in a description if you want, of course, but nothing with opening balance. Pretty much ever in QuickBooks. I'm not going to get into that too much in this, in this, detail, or in this video, but just don't put anything for opening balance. We'll have the option later on, especially once I show you how to do it correctly, of being able to choose the date that you want to pull the transactions from in the past. But this is not the screen to do any of that in. So leave these blank. But this box here, where it says make this a sub account, we're going to check this box. Now we're going to have the option to choose the parent account that this sub account is going to be put under. So we're going to hit this arrow 
and choose we have here this Chase credit card account, this 3344, which is the one that's already linked. It's the main employee owner card. It's the main card that's already been linked, bringing in those transactions to bank feed. So we're going to choose that. You can see how it's structured here. And then we're going to save that. So I'm just going to scroll down quickly in the chart of accounts. We can look at what that looks like. Looking in this section here, we have the, the main card, the main account. It's linked. You can see with these arrows, it's linked to the bank feed as we went over before. And then now we have this new employee card, the 7692 set up as a sub account. So now we're going to go back into the bank feed and we're going to attempt to link this new employee card as a separate bank feed uh, avenue to start bringing in those transactions automatically. So we're going to go here to the bank feed transactions, bank transactions. We're here in the bank feed and we're going to hit link account here in the top right. Here we're going to choose or search for Chase. Click on Chase Bank here. We're going to put in our Chase credential credentials. And then we're also just going to continue and give permissions, things like that. Now here we see that it's connecting. All right. So now in this screen, we're showing that we have the connected account, which is the main account, this 3344. And then we have this new employee card account, this 7692. So we're going to choose we want to connect that. And then once we do that, there's going to be a box that pops up to the right that and this is where we're going to choose within QuickBooks Online which chart of account to connect it to. This new 7692 employee card account that we just created in QuickBooks Online in order to link those together. And then here's where you have the option to choose how far back you want to pull in the transactions into the bank feed. It's not going to matter here because there's going to be an error message that pops up. So we're going to hit connect here. And then here's this error message. So it says the account, the 3344 sub account 7692 has a parent account that's already connected to an account at one of your banks. So here's an error message that pops up. I don't, I think it's confusing. I don't understand the wording and I actually don't still don't fully actually understand why this is even showing up as an error message um, or as an error. Again, I think it's, it's a weird kind of glitch with just how everything's connected currently. But again, I'm going to show you how to bypass this and it might be worded differently. I've seen a few different errors coming up, but either way, uh, no matter what the error is or how it's worded or whatever, this this workaround, at least as far as I've been able to experiment with so far with training clients and things, has been able to fix this and bypass this, this error. So again, I just wanted to visualize because uh, I'm assuming this, again, this is probably how a lot of you are set up of, of where you're starting to find this error when you're trying to add a new employee card as a sub account like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to X out of this and then I'm going to show you now the fix to this. Of, so the fix is how it's structured in your chart of accounts in QuickBooks. So again, we're going to go in the chart of accounts here, gear icon here in the top right, chart of accounts. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new account and it's going to be a, a dummy parent card account, kind of just a fake bulk parent credit card account that's going to have nothing ever connected to it. And I'm going to say that a hundred times this video, but that's very important in terms of bypassing this error message. So we're going to go in the, the top right here and we're going to hit new to create a new account. We're just going to name this Chase credit card parent account. You I mean, you can name it whatever you want, of course, but we're just, we're going to name it in this case, Chase credit card parent account. And this is going to be set up as a credit card, but again, we're never, we're going to connect anything here. So it's not a sub account. We're putting no opening balance, nothing. So this is just, this is just an account in order to hold all the other accounts and the employee cards underneath it sub accounts. So we're going to hit save here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and scroll down here back to our credit card section here. And now again, if you remember, we have this 3344, which in this case is the main credit card owner account, parent account before that's linked and everything ready. Oh, it's already set up. But what we're going to do is we're going to edit this account in order to bring it into as a sub account for this new dummy parent card parent account that we just created. So we're going to go again to this account. We're going to go all the way to the right, hit this down arrow and then hit edit. And then what we're going to do is click on this, make this a sub account and then choose the parent account, which is again, is going to be that account, that dummy parent account that we just created this chase credit card parent account. We're going to choose that as a sub account and hit save. Now let's scroll back down through the bank feed or through the uh, chart of accounts. And now let's look at how it's structured. We have the chase, parent account, the dummy account, it's gotten the new account that has nothing linked to it. We have this main account here that's now as a sub account. You can tell how it's indented like this. It's now a sub account. And then it also pulled in this new credit card employee card account, the 7692. It also pulled it in as a sub account to this main account because of how it's set up before. 
So it's kind of now a sub sub account. I don't know what the actual terminology is, but in this video, we're just going to call it a sub sub account. This will also bring up an error message if you try to link it this way, because I've seen people try to do this workaround where I show them the dummy parent account. They do this and there may be 10 employee cards, but some of them are sub sub accounts, whatever, this, whatever it's called. And it brings up, I don't remember if it's the same error message or not, but it doesn't matter because it brings up a error message still if it's set up like this. So what we're actually going to do is edit this card as well. And we're just going to make it a sub account to this new dummy parent account. So it's not going to be a sub sub account. So again, we're going to hit edit to this new employee card account. It's still checked as make this a sub account, but we're going to choose a different parent account, which is going to be this dummy parent account that we just created. We're going to save that, scroll back down. Now we see we have this dummy Chase credit card parent account that has nothing connected to it. We have the main account that has the bank fee connected to it as a sub account. And then we have this new employee credit card as a sub account also to the dummy parent account. This is how it needs to be set up. Again, I know I'm, I'm, I'm repeating myself, but it's very important. This is how it needs to be set up, at least for how to bypass this error message. You need to have a dummy parent account that has nothing connected to it in terms of the bank feed. And then each employee card, doesn't matter if it's an employee card or the main parent owner card account, all of them need to be set up as sub accounts to this dummy account that has nothing connected to it. And only as sub accounts, there can be no sub sub accounts. So this is how it needs to be connected or how, how it needs to be set up in the chart of accounts. Whether you have one employee card or whether you have two employee cards or 10 or 20, this is how it needs to be set up. And then once it's set up, and I'm going to show you right now, once it's set up this way, now you can go in and start to link individually those employee cards into the bank feed. And I'll show you right now how that looks. But again, as a refresher, we have this card already set up the main account, and we're going to try to set up this 7692 as a new employee card. So we're going to go back to the bank feed, transactions here to the left, bank transactions. And then we're going to hit link account here in the top right. Same thing as I showed before, we're going to type in for Chase, search for it hit Chase Bank, continue, put in your Chase credentials, allow it and give it the permissions and everything. So we're just gonna hit next all through all this, connect my accounts. Now it's connecting again as before. Now here, same thing. We have the main account here set up this 3344. And then we have this new 7692 card, this new employee card we're trying to connect. We're gonna click on it, hit this down arrow, choose the new 7692 credit card employees sub account in the chart of accounts we just created. And now here, if you want to pull in past transactions here, we just put this year, but obviously put whatever you want. Um, here's where you can actually choose how far back to pull in transactions into the bank feed. Not when you're asked, being asked for putting in an opening balance or anything when you're creating the account in the chart of accounts. So again, here's where you can choose that. And then we're going to hit connect. It's connecting again. And you can see already at this stage that it, that it was able to bypass that error message that was popping in that popped up before. So now we see, obviously, as you can read, that it's now bringing in those transactions. And I'll show you what that looks like in the bank feed. But the main thing is that here we said we're all set, we're connected, ready to go, hit done. So that was a way to bypass that error message. And again, if we had 10 cards, we would just do the same thing. We just choose all those 10 cards would show up. You choose which ones to connect. You choose the associated chart of account with them. And if they're set up that way in the chart of accounts, which is the main thing, with the dummy account that has nothing connected to it um, as the overarching account, then that is how you can link the Chase employee cards and bypass that QuickBooks Online error message. So now you can see we have these two employee cards in here, all individually, all the transactions we pulling into the bank feed is same as before and the other, and whenever this and the other employee card video with connecting it to QuickBooks, if you, you can reconcile now where you have the parent account, if you choose that, that's associating all those employee cards. So this workflow will allow you to have all the cards being brought into the bank feed, as well as having one parent dummy account. Even though it's just a dummy account, there's nothing going in and out of it. There's nothing connected to the bank feed. Because of how it's structured, you can still choose that account in order to reconcile all the cards and everything associated within that same Chase credit card main account.